Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to specify research questions. Remember that there are a variety of frameworks that can help you structure a research question. I mentioned these four research question frameworks only because they are commonly used. The PICO framework is good for medical research questions. PICO defines the population, intervention, comparison, outcome. Population, what are the characteristics of the population, including animal species, intervention, what uh, therapy or intervention do you want to investigate exposing the population to? Comparison, what is alternative therapy or intervention? Do you want to compare the primary interventions? Outcome, what are the possible outcomes? Let's look at an example. Does moderate alcohol consumption have favorable effects on reduced risk of coronary heart disease in adults without known cardiovascular disease? So what are the four elements using PICO? Population is adults without pre-existing cardiovascular disease. Intervention is uh, moderate uh, alcohol consumption. Comparison is those after a period of no alcohol use. Outcome is reduced risk of uh, coronary heart disease. PECO, RPO, is an equivalent framework for the association of environmental and other exposures with the health outcomes. PECO stands for population, exposure, comparator, and outcome. Exposure, what pre-existing conditions does the population have or ha what has the population been exposed to? Comparator, what are the characteristics of the population who do not have pre-existing conditions? or exposure. Let's look at an example. Evaluate the adverse children health effects of exposure to environmentally relevant PCB mixtures. So what are the four elements? Population is children exposure to PCB compared to is children exposed to lower levels of PCB or no exposure, exposure below detection limits. Outcome is any examination of survivor, body weight or development, etc. Let's look at the other example using PO. In infants, is there an association between exposure to soy milk and subsequent development of peanut allergies. Population is infants, exposure is soy milk, and outcome is peanut allergy. SPICE framework is often used in social sciences, especially for qualitative studies. SPICE stands for setting, population, or perspective, for whom? Intervention. What interventions do you want to do with the population? Comparison. What is the alternative uh, intervention? Do you want to compare the primary intervention? And evaluation. How, where, and what are the possible outcomes? Here is the example. In which way providing in-person progress report versus providing pagers or a phone call would effectively reduce family members' anxiety while their relatives are undergoing surgery. So what are the five pillows? Setting is surgical. Waiting room. Population is family members of patients. Intervention is uh, providing in-person progress report Comparison is providing pagers or a phone call. Evaluation is anxiety. This is the last one, WWH. WWH framework is good for interdisciplinary studies. 
if uh, the other frameworks do not apply. WWH stands for who, what are the characteristics of the population, what, what was done, like uh, intervention, exposure, policy, phenomenon, etc., and how, how does the what affect the who. Let's look at the example. The effects of alcohol consumption on biological markers associated with the risk of coronary heart disease in adults without known cardiovascular disease. So who is adults without known cardiovascular disease and what is the protective association of alcohol coronary heart disease and how is examining the biological markers. Now, I would like you to pick a research question framework, use that research question framework to construct a focused research question. If you do not have a research idea in mind, you can use this scenario. Which framework to choose does not matter as it offers a guide to make the question focused and specific. And here is the research question based on this scenario. Thank you for watching.